Hi, since mid-January, we've been sharing some sweet and spicy shorties for people ready to take on 2022 in a new and bigger, better, more successful way. And I've called this series Sweet and Spicy. Spicy because we got real and took a hard look at those not so comfortable potholes that have been tripping you up on the way to success. And so we, because every week I've given just a couple of tips that might help you get moving in the right direction. I'm Sue Kraupauer, and I mentor 30 to 50 something folks that are building out a plan to achieve their personal or professional goals. Last week, we tackled the subject titled, In With The Good, Out With The Bad, which summed up was how you can effectively squash the habit of assuming that the worst will happen and start looking at life from a half full versus half empty perspective. Ready or not, this final week in the series, we're going for broke or going for the gusto. We are hitting the highest level of insanity for Peppers, the Carolina Reaper that comes in at a whopping 2.2 million Schofield heat unit. The only thing higher than that is pure capsian, which is the is the thing that makes all peppers hot and is basically like like licking the surface of the sun. Although a Carolina Reaper is similar and I would never suggest anyone try one in real life just for grins and giggles. It would honestly it would send me to the hospital. I kid you not. However, for this week, are you ready to get really uncomfortable as we jump into our final spicy topic number seven, the blame game, also known as how not to win. It's, it's easy to be remarkably unsuccessful by blaming others. <clears throat> the other downside is that there's nothing you can do if someone else is at fault. The best you can do is hope they'll step up and fix the situation for you. However, when you take responsibility, you give yourself permission and the motivation to resolve your challenges. You know, it's absolutely possible that you had horrible parents or were made fun of by your third grade teacher. For me, it was my eighth grade teacher. Had a boss that enjoyed making you miserable. That, that you lack talent you think, that you lack the right education, maybe, that you're too old or too young. The list up here goes on and on and on. This quote that I want to share with you, it's a doozy. <clears throat> it is from, it's from Stephen Pressfield in his book, Turning Pro where he identifies resistance as the enemy to living an authentic life. Here's the quote, ready for it? Turning pro is a mindset. If we're struggling with fear, self-sabotage, procrastination, self-doubt, sound familiar? The problem is we're thinking like amateurs. Amateurs don't show up. Amateurs crap out. Amateurs let adversity defeat them. However, the pro thinks differently. She shows up. He does his hard work. She keeps on trucking, one foot in front of the other, no matter what. Oh, heavy, spicy, but insightful words from Pressfield. So, on the journey to success as you define it, it's important to take responsibility for everything in your life. All the choices you made along the way that got you here today, feeling stuck or not where you imagined your life would be today when you pictured yourself here five years ago. While the circumstances may not be your fault, no one will, else will take responsibility for improving the situation. You can fix anything if you're willing to hold yourself responsible. Any other perspective creates a, a sense of helplessness for you. 
even if you lack talent, education, or opportunities, using those as excuses accomplishes nothing. A lack of talent can be overcome with hard work and practice. A lack of education can't stand up to a library full of books. Create your own opportunities. No one's parents attended formal parenting school. And if you're a parent, you certainly did, right? Even if you were mistreated or felt you were mistreated, the only sensible option is to let it go and get on with your life. Leave your past in the past. Realize that your past choices have resulted in your current situation. While circumstances might have been out of your control, your choice on how to react to them must be owned by you and you alone. Your current choices that you made today will, will make, how do I put this? I gotta have to think about this. The choices that you make today are going to determine your future situation, your path, and your success or lack of it. Avoid blaming outside issues for your predicament. I call that the blame game. Take control of your life by taking responsibility for everything in your life. The saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility. Well, I want you to flip that. And it's just as accurate to say with great responsibility comes great power. Use your power. When we began this journey together, you might have thought success is challenging and failing is easy, but I hope you learned over the past seven weeks that actually it's really quite challenging, quite a talent to be unsuccessful on a consistent basis. It requires several habits that aren't easy to create and maintain and can be even harder to break that pattern. Chronic on productivity also requires an inaccurate belief system poor attitudes, and many years of honing an overall system that guarantees leading to failure. Don't fool yourself. It's a fine-tuned skill. And if you look back and realized you've been mired down in stuckness consistently throughout your journey, you may have mastered the craft and are suffering from insufficient goal setting, lack of self-confidence, courage, perfectionism, procrastination, imposter syndrome. And these are often experts at the blame game too. Ooh, ouch. <sighs> now you know why I gave this last series post a surface of the sun heat index comparison to the Carolina Reaper pepper at 2.2 million shoe. Ah, spicy. The good news is that you can choose to be successful. Success requires the same commitment to consistency. It's only necessary to be consistent at a, at a different set of actions. If ineffectiveness and unproductive behaviors come naturally to you, it's likely you have what it takes to be a great success too. Seriously. And I would be honored to go on that journey with you. For more information on my mentoring programs, or if you'd like to just book a, a short one-to-one -one call to chat and learn more about a ton of resources, click the link below. Now, see you next week with a brand new topic and, well, hmm, maybe we'll also consider a new food group comparison. Any suggestions? Leave your ideas in the comments below. Have a fabulous week.